to. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now. It's a vibe over here on this channel, sis, of course. So for today's video, I just wanted to do like an at-home maintenance vlog. Wax, nails, brows. Because first of all, it is quarantine and I don't care, okay? I live in Georgia. And Brian can't give us the okay to go outside. But guess who did it? Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. And I listen to Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, period. Because I'm about to go out here and risk my life or risk anyone else's life just because I want to get some acrylics or get a wax. And since I just like to be cute, y'all, all around, I was like, you know what, let me take matters into my own hands and go ahead and just start doing all this stuff for myself. Like, back in high school, I used to do all this stuff for myself anyway, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it by myself. So, I'm about to show you guys how I do everything on my own. Yeah, if you want to see how I get quarantine cute, my at-home maintenance, then keep on watching. Alright, y'all, so this is the wax kit that I got online. is nice and melted as you can see all right guys so this is the pre-waxing spray that you want to spray on your arms it gets sort of like dirt and oil and yeah look at the hairs on my arm they're super duper long so I'm just gonna do my arm real quick Still, so they can. Is it focused? Mm -hmm. That's clear. See the difference? So, you guys see the difference? And you can kind of see the hair that came out. Guys, so I'm going in with this after waxing spray, and it's just basically a vitamin E lavender oil. Just moisturizes your arms after you wax and it also gets rid of all the remaining little wax pieces look doesn't it look so good y'all okay guys it was not my plan to show this part y'all but Woo! okay Three, my cousin's doing my arm two two I'm not even gonna lie to you. Okay. I haven't got my underarms waxed in a month. Please, please, please! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Ew, look, at the, look at the hair! Yeah, look at the freaking hair. That is Damn. so nasty. Oh <sighs> my god. Okay. So, if you're kind of like sweaty or super oily, you can always use baby powder, y'all. I should have to finish my underarm and I just don't want her to. But whatever. Okay, come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alrighty, come here. Oh, and you know it's crazy because when I get waxes, I usually take it like a champ. Like, the, you know, the first time I ever got my Brazilian done, I did it myself. Mm. The first time I ever waxed my vagina. Wow. I know. Another layer is that good? I don't know why it's hurting so bad. I think that's good. Okay. It's hurting really bad today. Alright. <laughs> oof. Oof. Yeah. Oof. All right, guys, so I finished my arms, my underarms, and now I'm just going to end it off with my upper lip because, sis, the mustache is not cute.
do my eyebrows. As you can see, they're looking a hot mess right now. So I'm just going to be using some Nair to clean up my eyebrows. And I actually got this from my cousin because her eyebrows always look so good and she uses Nair. I know some of you guys are probably like, why don't you wax them, y'all? I'm just not at that level yet because I do not want to mess up waxing my eyebrows. And I feel like the Nair will be a little bit easier to control. So I'm going to be using the 70% rubbing alcohol to clean off my eyebrows. As you can see, my eyebrows are already filled in. They look a mess, guys. Like My hair is so unruly and just growing all over the place. It's important to clean off your eyebrows using an alcohol wipe so that the Nair can, you know, stick on your skin really properly and eliminate the hair because, you know, you have like natural oils and dirt and stuff. So you just want to make sure that the base is just really clean to start off with. So now you can kind of see what my brows look like. Y'all, my brows are so unruly. I usually get them threaded, but you know, because of the Rona, um, I haven't gotten them threaded in like a month. So, they look cray cray. Boy, you about to fix it. We're about to fix it. We're about to fix it. <laughs> so, first step that you want to do is just brush your eyebrows in place. I like to brush mine up first. And I brush mine up first and then I cut. And I'm gonna cut um, the hair a little bit. Any like long pieces? Do you guys want me to zoom in? I think you do. <laughs> okay. So now I'm zoomed in a little bit. Brush those hairs up. <laughs> I look funny. <laughs> Brush those hairs up. Okay. And anywhere that the hair is a little long, just cut it. So I'm just cutting it, especially on this side. Okay. Alright, and once you've done that, you just want to fill them in. super thick on purpose because I'm going to go back in and clean them up a little bit so I can get like the most perfect shape. I'm just going to take a q-tip and some alcohol and I just want to get a perfect shape. So this is the Nair face cream that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be using it on this old elf brush that I have that I don't care about anymore. And I'm going to use it to clean up my brows. I'm going to try and get it super clean. So you can kind of see they kind of get like a thick kind of squiggly look and you'll know that's ready to wipe off So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it off with a damp towel Ew, Look at all the hair that comes out So now that they're done, I'm just going to go ahead and take some aloe vera and put them on my eyebrows. Like so. Wipe them. I think I cleaned them up pretty nicely. Keep in mind, they probably look thinner, but like remember in the beginning I showed you I naturally have kind of thin eyebrows. They're not as full until I like fill them in. So I'm going to fill them in real quick so you can kind of see. So I'm just going to finish off this video by painting my nails. Alright babe, so I'm going to start my nails now. I have a nail buffer, a nail clipper, cuticle oil polishes, and this UV gel lamp that I got off of Amazon. So this um, lamp is pretty cool because 
you just connect it to a power source and you have like gel you have the light to dry your gel nails and gel nails last way longer than polish so i've been switching to doing gel nails now as of lately and um it's really cool it's supposed to be like a little table i can slip my hands into under um but i broke it <laughs> so i can't use that but i really do like this kit it came with this cuticle oil um a couple gel polishes clippers um nail polish remover like a whole lot of stuff um, and I'm gonna be using this polish that I got off Amazon and it is a pink color, it's really nice. I have these nail polishes from Nail Addict LA. They actually sent me these to try and when I tell you guys, probably hands down my favorite polishes I've used. They sent me a white and a bubblegum pink and I absolutely love these polishes. So I definitely recommend to check them out. I'm about to order some more too as we speak. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I finished my nails. They came out really, really cute. I like the color. It's a really cute pink color. This is the other hand, and I love it. It's a really pretty Barbie pink. Mm -hmm. 